Okay, today we're going to be making our first jQuery mobile app. I'm going to assume a few things that you already have jQuery mobile downloaded, uh, both the JavaScript file and the CSS. And let's get started. So we're going to declare our doc type as HTML, and we're going to do this uh, in HTML5 syntax. So um, just be prepared for that. Head, body. I'm just going to set up our page real quick. We'll give this a title, my first jQuery mobile app, and let's put some stuff in here. Okay, we're going to add jQuery mobile later, so right now I'm just going to set up our page. We're going to do two sections. We're going to call one, page one. And we're going to also give some content in here. This is my content, and let's give it a footer as well. I'm using TextMate, which is pretty cool because you can. There's some pretty cool shortcuts for um, ending off tags. We're gonna make another section here. Bear with me. Um, you'll see what we're doing in a second. Header. Let's add some more content. I'm not going to put a footer here just for the sake of being different. So let's save this and let's go over here and refresh and see what we have. Okay, we have page one, this is my content, this is a footer, page two, and this is more content. Right now, um, nothing is happening because we don't have jQuery mobile uh, installed yet. So what we're going to do is reference this in our header. We're going to include three things. We're going to include the um, style sheet for jQuery mobile. I've renamed these all uh, kind of friendly links. So um, just so you know. Okay, and we're going to also include the source for jQuery first. Remember jQuery comes first. Common mistake to not put jQuery in and nothing works and you beat your head against the wall. Um, and now we're going to include jQuery mobile. Okay, and let's refresh. And you see something changed here. Now we've got this gray background, but this still looks pretty just like standard HTML. So what we have to do is add data roles into all of these things here, into all of these sections. So a section, we're going to give it a data role of page. And we need to give it an ID too. So we're going to give this page one. Let's go into our second section, data role equals page. And we'll give this an ID of page two. Let's refresh. Nothing's happening yet except you saw page two disappear. That's good. That means our jQuery mobile is working. Let's give our header a data role of header. Same with this header here. Data role of header. And we'll give this one a data role of footer. And the div right here, we're going to give a data role of content. And same thing down here in this div, data role of content. And real quick, uh, let's save that and then refresh. Ta-da! Okay, this looks pretty much like a like a mobile application. Um, but we're going to make sure we can link to the second page. So let's put a link in here. Uh, link to page two. We'll uh, just do an anchor tag to page two. Click here, save, refresh. When we click, it takes us to page two. And you can see when we're in Safari, uh, it actually works uh, just like the iOS Safari browser where you get the sliding action here. So that's all you need to do. Um, there's obviously a ton of other options you can set, but this is your basic layout.